So, you know how one of my big struggles through this series has been roofs? Yeah, I think today's roof is going to be a big, big challenge. We're building a witch's hut and a little bit of a mushroom forest nestled back here in the jungle. We're just across the river from our town. You can see it over there. And the library is over yonder. I've tried to be fairly conservative with like how much space I've cleared out for this. Um, and I think this is a good start. If we need to take anything else down, we will. I'm also loving this like double vine thing that's going on and they're like supporting each other and I really don't want to take it down because it's really cool, but I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Anyways, today's block palette is, well, of course going to use lots of purple, but more like a magenta type purple. Um, that's really what I think of when I think of purple is kind of this warmer version. But these are all magenta type blocks. So we've got magenta concrete, magenta terracotta, and of course crimson stem. Um, I'll probably also use spruce over here in the roof as well. So this is probably all going to be roof material. And then dark oak along with I think end stone for the walls and stuff. And I'm really trying to find a way to integrate calcite because it's just such a pretty block and I love it so much and I really want to use it. cannot express to you how much I want to live here. Th this is literally my dream house right here. I love it. It's a hat. There's a hat. I actually, I actually like managed to make it look like a hat. I'm so happy with it. I was a little nervous because of using full blocks um, to actually, to have the color while the color variation while making the shape of this, but I think it worked out well. It's a little bit patchworky, but it is a witch's hat, so like, what's the problem there? <laughs> um, but then we did also like supplement with slabs and fences, even up as as we shaped the hat a little bit more, and just made it a nicely like shaped texture. I don't know, it worked really, really well. Floating candles everywhere were, of course, a must. And then we can run into this cute, cute little house. I didn't end up using calcite anywhere, which is a little bit sad, but it's okay. It's a little bit like my house with like leaves and crystals and shells and just nature everywhere. But yeah, lots of, I used lots of like enchanted things 
glowy objects, glow frames for the items, stuff like that, just to give it that magical sparkle. The big thing with this build, of course, was the organic shaping of the hat, and I think I did pretty well. I'm starting to get a little bit of an idea of like the organic shaping and the randomization of things, I think, with my building, which is really cool. Speaking of organic shapes, we'll be filling in some of this area with a little bit of a mushroom forest tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and go ahead and subscribe. And check back in tomorrow to finish this area out with some mushrooms with me. I'll see you there. Bye!